Hi everyone, my name is Dana, and thanks for joining me today for this chest and shoulder opening sequence. You'll need two yoga blocks and a yoga belt for this sequence. You'll see I have my blocks set up on my mat. One block is on the low height. The, that first block is going to go underneath your shoulder blades not in your middle or low back. The second block is for underneath the head. And you'll see that that block is on the middle height. To place myself onto the block, I just gently lower myself back onto my elbows. And then you'll see how I adjust my head and my shoulder blades. I see people too often if they're new to this type of prop setup, set the blocks too low, but don't do that. Keep the shoulder blades and the head supported. Now, will you place your hands towards your abdomen and center yourself in your breath? Breathe down into your abdomen and the touch of your hands. Ground yourself in your body, deep in your breath, into your body. Allow your mind to become quiet as you breathe down, down, down into your body. Soften your shoulders. Soften your face. With the next deep breath that you're ready to, inhale deeply into your abdomen and exhale out through the mouth. And two more times like that. Breathing in, exhale through the mouth, letting go of any tension. Breathing in one more time. Exhale, mouth. And keep breathing as you hug your arms with the right arm on top across your chest. Let your fingers crawl towards your shoulder blades. Breathe into your back. Breathe into your shoulder blades. Breathe and gently shake your head side to side. On your next breath, bring your head through center. On your next breath, Bring your arms with two bent elbows out to the sides. Feel your chest gently spread open. Then hug yourself with the left arm on top. Let your fingers draw towards your shoulder blades. Embrace yourself with loving touch and with a loving, gentle hug. As you rock your head side to side, breathe into your body. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And gently breathing into your body, abdomen, hips, and heart. Take another full deep 
deep breath like that. And let your two arms come out to the sides. Gentle stretch of your chest. Now, bring your arms towards each other. Interlock your fingers in a bound finger interlock, body muliasana arms. Stretch your palms towards the ceiling and reach your arms overhead towards the wall behind you. Breathe, stretch, and open. Firm your abdomen gently down to bring your arms up. Take the second index finger on top. Press your palms. Stretch your arms. Breathe and stretch. And inhale, lift your arms up, then bend your elbows. Place your forearms, palms, and elbows into each other. Gently press. Now roll your shoulders back, bring your arms apart. Spread the center of your chest towards your forearms. And again, bring your arms up. You press your forearms once you get to the top. Then arms pull away from each other. Full deep breaths. And arms pulling towards each other. Press, press firmly. And arms pull away. Feel your chest spread and open. Then I bring my arms gently through the midline. I roll to my side and off of the block support. From there, I come onto my knees briefly. As my knees and toes stay on the ground, abdomen firm, I walk my arms forward. into a puppy dog shape. So see how I press through my arms. It's like a downward dog shape from hips to fingertips, but the knees are on the ground. You'll notice that my head and chest can come down, but it's perfectly fine to keep your head and your chest lifted. Couple more full breaths. Next breath, come onto your hands and your knees for cat and cow spine. So first cat is a rounded back. On your exhalation, Tuck your hips under, pull your chin towards your chest, and breathe into your back. Stretch the muscles of your back. Next breath, gently arch your spine, chest forward, hips lifting, shin forward, shoulders soft. Full deep breaths, exhaling to round your back a second time. Inhaling to hold that shape. Exhaling, arch your spine through cow. Inhale, hold that shape. One more time, exhale, round the back. Inhale, hold that shape. And then exhale, arch your spine. 
Inhale, hold that shape. Come to a flat back. Learn to feel the strength of your abdomen towards your low spine. You want to maintain a strong core as you take your blocks a second time underneath you. I'm feeling already more mobile through my upper back, chest and shoulders. So you'll notice how I placed my blocks onto higher heights. The block under my shoulder blades is on the middle height. I carefully place myself across where I'm tight through my upper back. I take my head onto support. I'm showing with the head higher than the heart so that the neck can stay long. I'm firm through my abdomen. I place my hands to my abdomen. I breathe into my abdomen. Inhale fully, deeply, and completely. Exhale out through the mouth. Letting go. And again, inhaling into the abdomen. Exhale, mouth. Letting go a little deeper. And one more time. Breathe deep into your abdomen. Exhale, mouth. Normal breathing. If you still haven't opened to this block setting, you could bump it down a level. I stretch my arms across my chest, right arm on top, and I wrap myself. I embrace myself again in that loving hug, fingertips to shoulder blades, head rocks side to side. Deep breaths into your shoulder blades, your back, your abdomen. And head through center. When your arms come out to the sides, let your chest spread open. Your forearms come towards the ground. And second side, left arm on top. Wrap yourself in a loving embrace. Take your fingertips towards your shoulder blades and rock your head side to side. When your head comes through center, let your two arms move apart. Let your chest spread and open one more time. From there, arms come back in. Interlock the fingers. Lift your palms towards the ceiling. Stretch your palms. Reach your arms. And breathe. Stretch the arms. Maintain a gently firm abdomen as you stretch. Another full deep breath in and out. Next breath, gently firm your waist, bring your arms up and flip to have the second index finger on top. One more time. Stretch your arms and reach your arms. Breathe and stretch. Deep breaths into your chest, your back. Firm your waist as you stretch. Last full deep breath in and out. And then bring your two arms all the way up. Lightly place your two hands to your abdomen. One time as you soften your shoulders, breathe into your abdomen, full and deep. Exhale, mouth. And then 
then normal breath. From there, roll to your side. Lift yourself up. Sit in a pose that you can be comfortable in. I'm going to show you simple cross legs. My knees are releasing in line with my hips. If you find the knees are high, place a lift underneath your hips. Take your belt in between your two hands. Stretch the belt between your two hands and then relax. And two, stretch the belt between your two hands and relax. Then stretch the belt between your two hands and lift your arms up. Pause at the top. Next breath, release the belt forward and down. Relax the belt, hands next to your sides, roll your shoulders back. So before, with the breath, we took a full deep breath in through the nose, and I demonstrated a sigh out the mouth. So you can practice this with me, use it to just truly deeply let go of anything, unburden yourself with that breath. So take a full deep breath into your body and a big sigh out the mouth <sighs> and unburden yourself of any cares, any worries, hands pressing, shoulders rolling back and chest open. Maintain the lift of your chest, second time belt between your hands. Stretch the belt, and interesting, even after that one sigh, I'm already effortlessly sitting taller. So just notice if you can find a little bit more ease in your body, in your breath, as you pull the belt and lift up through the arms and pause at the top, and release your arms forward and down. And then again, I pull the belt and lift up. Now see how I start to slide my hands wider apart? You might even choose to bend your elbows a little bit as you bring your arms all the way back and down. I relax my shoulders. I'm gonna do the sigh. Full deep breath in, sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Unburden yourself and stretch back through the arms rolling your shoulders back, lift your arms, stretch, stretch, stretch through the shoulders, bring your arms forward and down, relaxing your shoulders when you get to the bottom. So to be clear, this sighing, it's not a classic yoga breath, but it does help psychologically, emotionally, it works um, on the body, uh, somatically, stored emotions. So take a full deep breath in, from the depths of you, sigh out the mouth. And then lifting your chest. And again, I notice, wow, I'm sitting taller. Even once again, it's amazing. I stretch the belt, stretch the arms up, pull the arms back and down, softening the shoulders. And last time, stretch back through your arms, pull up up, up through the arms, and release that belt all the way forward and down. Okay, I take the second cross of my legs. I readjust in my hips. I have the belt between my hands. That sighing technique, so find any stuck areas, any balls of tension, any spots that just feel like um, gripping or maybe a dead zone and I'd love for you to breathe into it and sigh out. Okay, so give it a try. Breathe deeply into your body. And then as I breathe and lift my chest, again I 
notice that lovely lift that I have found as I stretch the belt. I lift my arms up and I hold. Now see how I keep my arms up. I bend my two elbows and I'm lifting my chest. I'm lifting my spine and pulling my arms back. Then I reach my arms up. With straight arms, I pull my arms back. Two arms up, forward, and down. Relax the belt. Breathe into anywhere that feels stuck to you. Don't be shy, you're on your own. I'm the one that's sound, not minding that I'm sounding goofy to you. <laughs> but it works, it works on the body, the mind, and the emotions. So I stretch the belt and I lift up a second time. So I'm gonna remember the feeling of the block across my upper back. Notice how I move in, my shoulder blades move in as I bring my arms back, and I'm trying to pull my arms behind me. Then I bend my elbows and I stretch. See how I'm stretching the center of my chest? This is how I feel when I'm on the blocks. Reach your arms up, pull your arms back, straight arms, and release your arms forward and down. So I'm gonna take a full deep breath in, exhale now. And then I breathe in that seated pose. Find some freedom. Last time, lift your arms. Bend your elbows. Open your chest. Pull your arms back. And reach your arms up. And stretch two arms back. Move your shoulder blades in towards your chest. Keep breathing and release your arms forward and down. All right. So to end this series, I'd like you to lie on your back and you're gonna see I'm using these blocks underneath my hamstrings. And this is gonna help me drop my abdomen towards my back, and it gives my legs something to relax into. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, don't do it. For me, this feels amazingly comfortable, so I'm going to enjoy this final Shavasana with blocks underneath. Place your hands onto your abdomen and close your eyes. And now we'll move more with classic yoga breath, which is in through the nose and out through the nose. And as you breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, feel your breath moving underneath your hands. Feel your abdomen rise and fall underneath your hands. Invite the breath to move in the abdomen. Soften the abdomen as you invite the breath deeper within. Keep one hand on your abdomen and place one hand to your heart. Feel your breath in your abdomen and feel your breath in your chest, in your heart. Soften, soften and allow the breath to move deeper within. Soften to the experience of your own breath.
soften to the experience of your own soul, the spirit within. Soften to your breath. Allow your breath to be a symbolic red carpet. You are rolling out that red carpet with every breath that you take. You're rolling out that red carpet to the very center of yourself. Breathe, breathe and create an open channel. Breathe and follow that red carpet deep within yourself. Breathe into yourself. Open to the experience, the full, the fullness of you. Allow anything that is not you to fall away. If you feel inclined towards another side, by all means, take it now. That sigh can help to release stuck energy, stuck habits, stuck patterns. Soften and open to the experience of yourself. Allow anything that isn't you to fall away. All that matters is you, your breath, your body, your breath, moving in your body, guiding you deeper and deeper within you, within yourself. Now open, open yourself. Open yourself. Open yourself to your breath. Open your heart with the next breath that you take. Fill yourself with a sense of well-being, of gratitude. Breathe deeply and fill yourself with a feeling of loving kindness. Open to that experience. And stay connected to that experience within you. As you gently and slowly begin to bend your knees on your own time. And then roll towards your side. In order to come up and sit. Wide open from the inside. 
inside out. And place your palms in front of your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon.